Hi friends, so continuing with the sessions, now we are on two thirds of same order. We have seen what are thirds, what are uh, similar thirds and uh, we have also solved a few problems around that. Now in this session we are going to study thirds of same order. Okay. Now thirds, those thirds, so I will be writing what is meant by thirds of same order. Thirds, thirds are said to be, said to be of same order when when is that same order and what type of thirds are thirds of same order when they have when they have all when they have got when they have got the same root symbol okay so those thirds will be called thirds of the same order. For example, root of 5, that is square root of 5, square root of 3, then square root of 4 to the power 5, square root of x to the power 3, all are thirds of same order. Same order. And in this case, order is 2. Order is equal to 2 because we are finding the square root. So, order is 2. Similarly, third root of 4, third root of 5 square, third root of y, and x to the power 4 by 3. All are thirds of order. 3 okay so this is what uh, uh thirds of same order are called so same order so order is 2 then you know quadratic so these are also called quadratic thirds quadratic thirds and these are order 3 thirds are called cubic thirds okay cubic thirds now let us understand how to reduce thirds of different orders thirds of different orders to equivalent thirds of same order okay so we want to reduce thirds of different order into equivalent thirds of same order what does it mean let us say i have cube root of 2 and let us say third root of 4 now clearly this order is 2 here and the order of this third is 3 here so they are not similar neither uh, they are of same order no so how to reduce them to same order thirds. So what do we do? What is the root here? Second root of 2, isn't it? So hence what do we do? First step is find the LCM LCM of 2 and 3. 2 and 3. So which is equal to 6. Okay. Now we will be reducing both the thirds to the order of 6. How to do that? So clearly 2 to the power uh, root 2 is nothing but 2 to the power half okay so what can i do i can write 2 to the power half can be represented as half into 3 1 by 3 into 2 by 3 divided by 2 by 3 sorry so this is what we can say uh, about square root of 2 which is eventually 2 to the power 3 upon 6 so that means it is sixth root of 8 isn't it so that is how i can say um, or i can uh, equate 2 to the power half as sixth root of 8 now what about third root of 4? Third root of 4 is nothing but 4 to the power 1 by 3. Again, I will make it 6th root. So, to make it 6th root, I will do 2 by 6. Isn't it? So, hence it is nothing but 6th root of 4 square, which is 6th root of 16. Isn't it? So, what do we observe? We observe that now both of them are of 6th order. Order, order 6 and hence now they are of same order. Thirds, isn't it? Let's take another example. Example number two. Let us say we have sixth root of three and eighth root of two. Eighth root of two. Now both are of different orders. What is the order here? Here the order is six and here the order is eight. So we have to convert it into same order thirds. So what is LCM of? So step is LCM of. 6 and 8. 
What is LCM of 6 and 8? It is 24, isn't it? 24. So let us convert both into 24th order third. So what do we do? 3 to the power 1 by 6 is nothing but 3 to the power 4 by 24, isn't it? So hence it is 24th root of 3 to the power 4. So hence it is nothing but 24th root of 81. Correct? Next, what about 2 to the power 1 upon 8? Is nothing but 2 to the power 3 upon 24 isn't it 3 upon 24 is 1 by 8 so hence I can write this as 24th root of 2 cube which is equal to 24th root of 8 right so hence now we see both are of order order 24 correct now I have reduced two thirds of different orders into two thirds of same order this will be very very useful when you are doing mathematical calculations with thirds. So for, to practice more you can download the worksheet and work on those problems.